Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are on a new mod today called Monarchist Australia. So we're going to find out what if they had a king down under. That does say Monarchist Australia, honest. Now Australia has also been bumped up to number one in the front row. Unlucky Pierre. So we're on a mod, so we will be playing Iron Man mode off. And just for shits and gigs, we'll also do non-historical. Welcome to the Monarchist Australia mod. Please feel free to rate the mod and leave a comment on the Steam Workshop. You could also put my video on the Steam Workshop if you like, just saying. So we start with Mr. John Curtis. We do have a Great Depression. That isn't brilliant, is it? But Mr. John Curtis, you won't be sticking around for enough. Let's have a look at the focus tree then. Um, quite a big chunky boy. I haven't played Australia for a while, so I'm not too sure. So we've got some Doctrine stuff, some air... Some navy, I think that's all standard. Kangaroo port, right. A uh, bit of industry, fine, that's probably normal. Bit of war council, okie dokie. And then we've got the support the appeasement, that's probably historic from what I can remember. Here we have honour the new king service, so that's where we're obviously going. So we've got multiple different paths by the looks of it. So that adds a bit of autonomy. We've got loyal to the house Windsor. That sounds boring. We don't want to be loyal. The Franco-British Union, though. Ooh! An interesting focus. That's probably the only time you'll ever see that uh, decision. I might have to replay it just to do that specific focus. Uh, we got the house of John the Sixth, which looks like we're going friends with the Portuguese and the Dutch East Indies, or claiming them back. And then, yeah, the Brazilian Portugal... So they nick some focuses from other places then. Uh, what else we got? House of Savoy. So they look like they're going to be friends with Italy. And then we've got our king arises as well. Which then obviously puts our king in place. Ascension to the crown. Okie dokie. So we'll just... Oh, and then what's over here? Oh, just the old F and C paths. Cool. We'll start with honour the king service then. In the service of King George V early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. We just add a bit of autonomy and honour the King's service. And we do actually have a monarchist political party, which is cool. I always did think non-aligned isn't really monarchy. I have also got the mod on, which is 10 uh, naval dockyards for capital ships. So this heavy cruiser, I can use 10 naval because I thought if we're going against the Japanese, we're going to need some battleships out. So let's try and produce some quickly. But we'll just get destroyers to start with because we need a few more. We've got a couple of heavy cruisers, are they? Early cruiser hulls. Oh, look at these new decisions. So Australian royalist decisions. We can ask for territory. We've got some Chinese immigration. Uh, we just need to do some focuses before we can do them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's... Oh, what are these? I don't think they're meant to be in the game, these test focuses. Oh, that could break the game later. I might pay attention to them. But I, I think they shouldn't be in it, so maybe I shouldn't touch them. But next up, what way are we going? We could go John Way with Portugal or Savoy with... Oh, we can do these focuses with anyone, so that's fine. I'm thinking who's a better ally i'm gonna go with john do i want italy no no we want john we want john and we want to we want the portuguese brazilian empire on our side that sounds a good bet germany in a civil war obviously it's non-historical they obviously have to have a civil war we have now got resource gain efficiency plus 20%. That's bizarre. And we'll go with our king arises. This allows access to royal court decisions. The non-aligned party will now be called the British Loyalist Party. Loyalist of England. And the monarchist will now be the Royal Australian. Cool. Got a new advisor as well. We've got a Royalist King's Public Advisor, which is political pain. So a silent workhorse with extra buffs. Ascension of the crown. We will become free and we will be able to create our own factions and we'll get 15% monarchism and we'll get the Australian king who has a lot of good juicy stuff. Now, producing these decisions, I don't really know what inviting people to court actually does. It doesn't really say apart from an event. So let's invite the king. 
Uh, I can boost morale. Right, a bit of stability. War support and manpower. Non-aligned and a bit of... No, let's get some manpower. We'll need manpower. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the support of a recruitment campaign. Ascension to the throne. We are now the Kingdom of Australia with a nice new flag. And King Walter Strickland. Political power. Monthly population. Construction, attack, defence. Acceptance of the F diplomacy. Ooh, very interesting. But um, what are we going next? A research slot. We can get Ned Kelly's armour. Bizarre, okay. Some hydroelectric. Demand New Zealand annexation. Ooh. Bit of attack bonus against Germany and the new royal. Let's go get a research slot to start with, I think, because we only have two to begin. So we have some new decisions now to just ask for territory off of people for a little bit of political power. So, okay, we'll give that a go, I suppose. Let's go for Christmas and Cuckoo Island. And we ask for it. There's not... So we could just decide whether we get it or not. Kingdom of Australia receives. The islands will remain British. Oh, I feel like this needs a bit of a bit of luck involved, not you deciding. But obviously I'm going to pick. We'll have it. So we will take those islands from you. Thank you. Let's also see if we can just take New Zealand as well, I suppose. Will they just give up New Zealand? They will, and there is a bit of... I don't know if that's just guaranteed or not, but there's no choices. And we gain cores on it all as well. Oh, yes, the Kingdom of Australia is getting thicker. This is... a No, is as is only right. We'll now go... Well, these are all sort of attack bonuses and a bit of recruitable pot. That's not really what I need at the moment. What other stuff can we get on with? Bit of ship stuff here. Yeah, a bit more subs. A bit of naval, marine, shipyards. Um, let's go police stuff. No, let's go for validate the Portuguese claims on the Dutch East Indies and see if they hand them over to us and the, and the Portuguese. Now, we haven't got any field marshals. We've got some generals. And we've also got this new Anzac veteran attack and planning. I assume that's new because there's not an icon. But we'll, uh, we'll just promote Leslie up to be our field marshal. Validate Portuguese claims. Another one we can just pick. Uh, we will take our land, funny enough. Why would we withdraw our claim for? And they've accepted a great day for our nation. We became owner and we gained some cores and so did Portugal. So that's nice. We are getting bigger without conquest. Um, let's go for formal treaty with Portugal, I suppose. Let's get the faction going. And they agree to our Pacific cooperation. We get the Australian-Iberian Alliance. Ooh. Where's the factions? Oh, it's green. Australian-Iberian Alliance with the Portuguese. That's nice. And let's move on to getting Brazil to join the faction. Come on in, Brazil. A nice little 14-day focus again. They'll add some monarchist support as well as other bits. And they join our faction as well. Let's then unite the kingdoms. We want the big boy alliance. Hopefully they'll give us manpower. The United Kingdom of Brazil and Portugal. Who should lead though? The second Brazilian Republic or Portugal? Or now is not the time we can decide later. No, no, we'll go... Let's go Portugal because they have the focus first, don't they? Before the new DLC. And for some reason that has sparked a war. Huh? Okay, I'm not sure it's meant to do that. And they're not in our faction anymore. Brilliant. That um, worked a treat, didn't it? What else have we got to play with? Bit of Malaysia and Indonesia. Should we start an uprising? 14 days. Let's get a monarchist Indonesian uprising. And we can support them. Yeah, let's go with that one. Indonesia request Kingdom of Australia military. Yeah, we'll, we'll help them out, of course. They've got a little civil war against the Dutch East Indies. Can't move on yet until they are out of the civil war. Okay, how are they going to do in the Civil War? I mean, Dutch East Indies has nothing. Oh, we can enjoy it. They haven't got a leader. They've got a leader. Why have they got the same flag? Okay. Seeing as the Spanish Civil War's kicked off, let's poke our nose in that. So we can... Spanish question, support one of them, and then we've got the aftermath as well. We can get them to join the faction. So let's do that. Let's do the Spanish question. I'm going to go just some 20 width with engineers and artillery because I don't have a great economy at the moment. That's all I can do. But the Spanish Civil War, who are we going to support? We can support the Nationalists, the Carlists, 
or we can go for it ourselves. I suppose the Carlist, because then there'll be a monarchy and we could probably get them as a puppet maybe. And they could join our faction and then we can join in the civil war so we get some... Oh, we get some annexed war goals. Okay, let's, let's join in. Let's get our troops over to Portugal and we'll use their land. Get our navy there as well so we can do some naval invasions. We'll also... Yeah, let's start poking our nose in China as well, I suppose. We'll just ask for this free territory as well. Are they going to let us have it all? Yeah, it seems it. We'll click that one as well. Did we get it? Yeah. Okay. And we can go for Hong Kong as well. Free territory. Everyone likes free territory. Right. What do we want to do here? Put diplomatic pressure on Jean Click. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Who knows? Someone will know in the comments, I imagine. Um, let's go for... Let's make them a subject. Why would we not want them as a puppet? I don't want to go to war with them. The Imperial China becomes a subject. Yes, they've now got a royal warlord as well because they've got the monarchist party. Oh, yes, China is coming under our spell. And we'll get some Chinese immigrants as well to get... Oh, look at that recruitable pop. We'll definitely add that, the local population. Yeah, we'll have you. We need manpower, thank you. Bit of stability, but never mind. And we could do a second round, but we'll leave that for now, I suppose. Time for the first step of one China policy. I feel like we're becoming a little bit of a British empire here and we're doing things we shouldn't be, but onwards into China. Oh, they're on our faction. That's good. We will get more land. Oh, they've got 19 divisions we can get as well. And Japan has decided to go communist. Right, they've refused and we've now got an annex. I do not want to go to war with China yet but he has an interesting proposal I'd like to know this interesting proposal let's set up a little naval invasion ready to hit Spain and poke our noses in that we want all the fingers in all the pies mm, what's the interesting proposal I don't know if this is going to be bad or good um, no, I definitely do not want to go straight to war because that will get crushed. The status quo remains, I think, is the safe option here. Right, I've got enough artillery now. I can go to my usual 21 whip. This will smash through those Spanish in the Civil War. Just lacking about 180 guns. That's fine. We can deal with that. We can get some more troops out. We'll get a few more to reinforce. Let's see what this Ambitions in Greece does as well. And we can now ask the UK for Hong Kong. So, no, we want Hong Kong. Agreed to give us Hong Kong. You've not given us Hong Kong. Thanks for that. Brilliant. That works. Um, and then we've got these more invites. Is that going to be more decisions like do we want men or no? It's just opinion. Is that all they do? Just improve the opinion on... Let's just try another one. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll do a second round of Chinese immigration then. Let's get some more Chinese in and we can get more manpower. Yeah, the Spanish didn't see this one coming. Monarchist Australia is coming to conquer you. Well, not conquer you, help the Carlists. Ambitions in Greece. Do we want an alliance, a subject or prepare for war with Greece? No, let's go for, I mean, a subject. Why would I not make them a subject? Greece becomes a subject of the Kingdom of Australia. And they become known as Australian Sparta. What? That is so cool. Australian Sparta. And they've got their standard focus tree. So that's going to mess it up, I imagine, and go weird things. But never mind. Uh, what's next? We could do Yugoslavia. Don't really fancy getting involved there yet. And what else have we got? I should probably do a bit of industry or something, I suppose. Maybe some dockyards. Uh, War Council. Oh, the Great Depression. I forgot about the Great Depression. Investigate Prince Sarah's a disappearance. She's eloped. Yeah, approve the marriage. Why not? We want stronger. Princess in love. There goes the Spanish. Well, one of them anyway. We'll just take their fleet and then we'll just sweep up the land in the last deal. Carlist gone as well. Even what was that war with the Carlists? I mean, I haven't got any power and they haven't got any ships. Oh, I think the debuffs have gone now because we are just rolling the Spanish over. 
Oh, it's like a warm knife through butter. Prince Sarah, Princess Sarah has given birth to a son. Ooh, an Australian Chinese royal wedding. 180 days. And there goes the Spanish communes. We'll just take their ships and then we will finish off the rest of the Spanish and take all of the land. Uh, yeah, let's just pass. We'll give it all and we'll take it in the end. And it peaced out. And now they're a puppet of the Soviets. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Well, that was a complete waste of time. I've got some ships, I suppose, but I've lost complete control of Spain, which I wanted. I can do aftermath of the Spanish Civil War, so this may fix it. They might join the alliance. Indonesia has finally been annexed. Why have it just bypassed that? I had what? I had to wait till the Civil War's over to do these focuses, but it's just bypassed them now. The Civil War's open. Oh, that's really annoying. I wanted the French stuff. Okay, fine. Nothing I can do about that. Aftermath of the Spanish War. Has that fixed? No, it has not. They are not my in my alliance. Right, I reset the focus tree because it was doing really weird things. I lost China and other things weren't triggering. So I've done it all again. China's back under my control and it seems to be running better now and all the focuses are working correctly. It does now mean I have six research slots, but the game's whack anyway, so that's fine. We're, we're a superpower now. And it actually made Portugal and Brazil unite like it should have done. So we now have the Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil united and in our faction. We've got the strong ally. This is probably what the game was meant to do, but it's maybe because I had it on non-historical. So act casual like nothing happened. We are at war with China now, I suppose. So, um, yeah, right. We'll, we'll jump into that one. That's fine. That's what we wanted. China is our next target. We want our Imperial China to do well. So let's go get our army on their front line ASAP. Ooh, a royal wedding. Where do we host the wedding? Uh, Australia. It should be in Australia. Royal wedding in Kingdom of Australia. Prior to the commencement of this ceremony, forms the king. All the remaining child's royalty are currently in the hall. Also mention the king's grandson having birthright to both kingdoms. Ooh, so we can arrest the advisor or we can agree to the wedding and we get the red wedding. So we get 15% stability and a royal wedding. Or I can agree and we get the Red Wedding. I mean, Red Wedding, obviously. 50% stability in China. Oh, that's a big penalty. But uh, yes, our grandson is now heir to the both thrones. We've got him. Who have China? They haven't got anyone now. They've got King Michael, who must be a very small baby. Since we're in China, I'm going to go medium bombers, which I don't really do. But, you know, the range we've got to cover, we're going to do some really expensive heavy bombers. Not heavy bombers, medium bombers. Let's go up to total mob as well, and then we can do women in the workforce. Uh, we can't do women in the workforce because monarchism, monarchism is not... Oh, because it's a new party and they've not changed it on that. Let's see if we can push into China now. That's mountains and we can easily, so the Chinese must be crap. We've got our new Cass up doing a bit, well, heavy bomber Cass. Oh, yeah, we can just melt through the Chinese as well. China is being conquered for our new grandson, King Michael. They're also fighting the communist China, but we will go onwards to Beijing. And with Beijing, there we go. China has capitulated. So we've got the majority. We've got a fair bit of war score. So we'll start claiming things for our puppet. I don't reckon they're cause because I can't claim a lot here. I barely got anything of China. That's really, really irritating. So, um, yeah, we're obviously going to go and crush the communist China now as well. As they claimed everything. We need to do that quickly before they start pumping stuff out. Ma what? Why is Port Portugal and Brazil just love messing me about? I suppose this is the problem with mods on games that have so many different focus trees. And I'm playing non-historical, but we'll ignore that. Yeah, they've screwed me. Japan seems to be going against China as well. So they're taking a lot of the territory I want, which is a bit annoying. What? There's another... 1941, we've got another Spanish Civil War. Have you ever seen that in a game? I have not. And we have actually got war goals against them. Uh, I'm not getting involved, though. Because we are going after communist China now. So we'll declare war on them. 
just send our troops all in. Oh, I need to call in our puppet, otherwise we're getting nowhere. And there we go, just roll on in. That was actually really easy. I think Japan took all the points, so that's annoying. So we'll gain what we can, which wasn't a lot. So now we're going to have to go after Japan's People Republic as well to get the rest of it. Yeah, I need to take out Japanese China to restore the Jing. But Japanese China should be no match for us. We have got quite an extensively good army and a lot of tactical bombers doing CAS. We've got two heavy ships coming because we're fighting Japan. So luckily we've got the 10 dockyard boosts. So as soon as we get some steel, they'll be in December 42. What's the other one? December 42. So like six months. So seven months. Nice. And then we can take Japan. Let's set up our naval invasion anyway. We've got a bit of a navy, so we might be able to sneak it before then, but unlikely. But we, uh, we'll, we'll set up on the southern island ready. Oh, we've got to push right into Japanese China here. That's going to be a nightmare. Let's get all our heavy bombers. Lucky they've got the range now. We're going to need to destroy a lot of CAS and logistics to punch in. I wasn't paying attention and the naval invasion went off. Luckily, there wasn't many people at home as usual for Japan. So we'll quickly push out and land some more troops in there. Yeah, Japan is not at home. No one is ever at home on this island, are they? So um, that's fine. We will just overrun them with our Australian troops. And we're taking Tokyo. That should be Japan knocked out. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Japan's gone. There we go. We just need to take out the rest of Japanese China, which is rather irritating. But um, we'll get a big order and we'll just force our way in. And the capital. There goes the troop. That should be it. And that should be them done. Got most of the land. Got a lot of Japan. We just need to fight for the rest of uh, China up here. We do have Korea though, which means I can do the Li Dynasty. And what has that got me? Mm, oh, he's not even a puppet. I've just made the monarchist. Okay. And taking the rest of it, we should be. No, we can't do the focus yet. Why can we not do the focus? Is there parts I've got to give to China? Um, but I can only release it. I can't gift it. Why well, can't I do that? I can't do this focus. It's rather irritating. I just want to complete this game. I've got all of China now and I can't transfer it. Oh, look, I can do the focus now. Let's ask no questions about how that is now possible for the sake of entertainment value. And uh, the focus did nothing. I don't know what it was meant to do. I think it was meant to rename China, but we are still our imperial China. So, um... Yeah, I think I will leave it there, guys. We now have a nice big puppet with our grandson of China. Brazil abandoned us. The game went mental. I would recommend probably not playing this on historical. It just messes with it too much. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this mod. It's a bit of fun. Nice Imperial Australia. I think Alex the Rambler will enjoy this one. He loves a bloody monarchy. And um, thanks for watching. Shout out to all our members. Give this mod a go. I'll leave it in the description. And peace out.